بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک آف ڈسکرشن ٹوڈے از پاپولیشن بیسڈ الیل فریکوینسی ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ دیٹ ڈیٹا بیس دیٹ وی آر ٹوڈے گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین از دا جینوم اے ڈی جینوم اے ڈی از ایبریویشن آف دا جینوم ایگریگیشن ڈیٹا بیس ایز دا نیم ایکسپلین دیٹ از دا جینوم ایگریگیشن سو اٹ کنٹینز تھاؤزنڈ آف تھاؤزنڈ آف دا جینوم اینڈ دا ایکزوم ڈیٹا فرام دا ڈفرینٹ ایتھنک گروپس So this one is the user interface or the home page of the genome AD uh, database. So it, you can uh, search the allele data by either putting the gene name. So for example, if you will put the gene name, so it will explore all the variants reported in that particular gene. And then you can scroll down and look at all the variants one by one and you can see their uh, allele frequency status. or you can give a region or you can uh, explore the allele frequency of a specific variant as well by giving the RSID, the reference SNP ID. So for example, uh, we, for example we are interested to uh, see a list of all the variants reported in, in the gene and their allele frequency information. So for example, this one is the query box you just type the name of the gene for example tyr this one is a specific gene so when you click on the gene name so here you will see the preliminary information that uh, <coughs> the page that you are just uh, looking at is containing the assembly data from the hg19 This one is the ensemble gene ID and all the informations. These are the summary informations of uh, the allele variants that in this gene how many, uh, I mean in, in this database uh, how many variants related to the synonymous missense are reported, lots of function reported. And when you will scroll down here you will see the list of all those uh, reported variants that are present in the TYR <clears throat> so variant ID here you can see uh, the, the genomic coordinate information so you can see this one is the the first digit 11 is basically the chromosome number then the genomic coordinate position in terms of the base pair the first alphabet is actually the, the reference allele and the other one is Uh, the alternate allele then the source it identifies that whether this information uh, comes from the genome or the information comes from the exome so G denotes the genome and E from the exome then in the next column you see uh, the CDAR means the cDNA or the RNA the, <coughs> the transcript information then the annotation whether it is reported in the 5' UTR whether it is missense I mean uh, here in this column you can see the effect of that variant whether it is missense nonsense reported in the fibrom UTR it is uh, uh, stop gain mutation frame shift mutation in frame uh, mutations <clears throat> and then you can see the clinical significance for example if you look at this variant so this variant this one is the position of the variant and uh, the information came from both exome and the genome uh, sources from the different ethnic groups this one is the the protein uh, <coughs> the protein effect of this mutation glycine at position 47 is replaced by the aspartate and uh, it's a missense mutation and uh, pathogenic by some sources and likely pathogenic by the other sources it indicates the allele count For example, in this database, this variant came or appeared in, for example, 100 exome and the genome. So out of the 100, it appears in the 44 cases. So this one is the allele count, allele number. And then this one is allele frequency. And then you can see here the number of the homozygote reported in that case. <coughs>